Is this the end of YouTube thumbnail designers? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT's 4.0 image generation to face swap thumbnails using your own headshots from popular creators just like this. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you want to know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I use for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this in the video description or pinned comment below. So before I dive in and create these thumbnails, there's a few important things that you need to know. Number one, if you want to copy what I'm going to show you, I'd recommend having high quality headshots. You're going to get better outputs that way. And number two, I'd recommend being on ChatGPT Plus if you're going to generate images with the Foro image generator. Yes, you can generate images on the free plan, but it's going to be very slow. You're going to run out. So I'd recommend getting ChatGPT Plus and also having high quality headshots headshots before you start this process. So in this first example, I'm going to face swap myself with a YouTube thumbnail from Mr. B. So I'm just on his channel here and I'm going to find a random video to face swap myself. I'm going to do this $1 versus $500,000 experiences where he's underwater. So the first step is to just copy the YouTube video URL. Click this icon with the three dots, click share. I'm going to copy that URL. And then what you should do, in my opinion, is you should go to a website called YouTube thumbnail downloader.com. I'll leave that in the video description description below, paste that video URL, and then you'll click download. And this will give a high resolution resolution image, excuse me, of that YouTube thumbnail. Then I'm going to right click, click save image as, and I'm just going to name this Mr. B so I can find it in the next step, save it to my desktop. And that's that. Then what I'm going to do is pull up chat GPT. I want to make sure that I'm on the 4.0 model or this process will not work. Then what I want to do is I want to click this line with the three dots, create image. Now I want to upload the images. So I'm going to click upload from computer. Let's find that. Uh, let's find that thumbnail I just downloaded from Mr. Beast. Then I'm also going to upload one of my headshots. I took this on my phone. I think it's an iPhone 15 or something. It's got a higher resolution camera than my computer. So whatever you're going to get the highest quality headshots on, I'd recommend taking it with that. Then what you want to do is I have a prompt ready to go. This is going to be a very basic one. Come back to chat GPT and prompt it with the following. Replace the face in the thumbnail with my face as exact as possible. And I'm going to hit enter. This is going to take a few minutes most likely. So I'm going to come back after this output is complete. All right, so after a few minutes, this is what ChatGPT produced. And I will say I'm not thrilled about this image, especially the way that my face looks, but all the other elements in this image are correct, especially the background, where I'm sitting, my positioning. So it's really just that smile and other elements of my face that look really cartoonish. But again, that's also probably because of the original image and the quality of the headshots that I provided. That's why I said at the beginning, it's super important that you provide the highest quality headshots as possible. So then I said, maybe, you know, try again. That doesn't really look like my face. And this was even worse in my opinion. So it's trial and error with these things. And I did a previous example of this, as I showed you at the beginning of this video, I took his thumbnail of the pyramids and I uploaded the same exact headshot, same exact prompt. And this is the result that I got. I was blown away. I think my face and just overall, I look a lot more like the thumbnail generated in this example than I just showed you in this example. So really it's trial and error with these things. But in general, I'm just giving you an idea of how you can face swap from popular thumbnails. So now I'm going to show you a more practical and advanced example. Let's say, for instance, I want a thumbnail that relates to ChatGPT versus Claude, as that's a popular keyword, or just anything related to ChatGPT or Claude. Well, let's say I like this thumbnail, which has Claude AI secrets. So I'm going to do the same process as I just showed you previously. I'm going to copy and paste this URL. I'm going to click share, copy, pull up that YouTube thumbnail downloader website, paste the URL in here, click download. I'm going to save this to my desktop. So I'm just going to name this Claude for now, click save. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste a more advanced prompt. So I'm going to copy this and I will leave this in the video description below, by the way, I'm going to click 4.0. So I'm on 4.0. I'm going to click create an image. I'm going to paste that prompt in here. So this prompt reads the following. 
Replace the face in the thumbnail with my face as exact as possible. Exact same as the last example, but here I'm adding more to it. Swap the Claude logo with the chat GPT logo I've attached and change the background color to green. I even gave it the exact hex number of chat GPT's green color. I said also change the text to Claude AI to chat GPT. Keep the original aspect ratio of the thumbnail 1920 by 1080. So now what I need to do is obviously upload everything that I just downloaded. So there's that Claude image, the thumbnail that I downloaded. I'm gonna upload that headshot of me. And the last thing I wanna upload is an, is an icon or an image of chat GPT that's going to replace this Claude icon right here. So now that I have that done, I'm going to click enter and then skip ahead once this is complete. All right, so here's the result that I got from ChatGPT. And again, this isn't perfect, especially just looking at my face. But take my face out of it for a second and look at everything else about this image. It's pretty flawless, actually. Replace the text correctly from Claude to ChatGPT. It replaced that green background from the orange to the green like I instructed it. It also swapped out the logo of Claude to ChatGPT pretty seamlessly. Here's the original image right here. And then this is what ChatGPT came up with. So honestly, what would make the most sense for me is probably just to remove my headshot and keep everything else upload that into Canva or Photoshop and maybe bring over a PNG of my headshot pointing or just doing whatever I do with those headshots versus trying to stuff in the headshot that way. I tried to do another image that looks even worse in my opinion with my face. So then I tried a different headshot of me in a suit and this is what I got. Now again, most of this image is flawless except for the face element, but even the suit is correct. The text is correct, the icon, the colors are correct, the dimensions are correct. Everything else about these images are correct. It's just the, the face component or the, like the details of my face are the only flaws that I'm finding in these outputs. So overall, I still am very impressed with what I'm seeing in terms of face swapping YouTube thumbnails with ChatGPT's 4.0 image generator. Now I tried the exact same thing with Google's AI Studio using Gemini, I uploaded my headshot, this Mr. Beast thumbnail, and this is what I got as a result. So when it comes to face swapping thumbnails or images, Google's AI Studio definitely struggles with this. But when it comes to actually editing one existing image, this is where Google AI Studio excels. I took that Mr. Beast thumbnail and I said, replace this person's attire with a tuxedo. The reason I said this person's is I don't wanna go after anything copyright. So if I would have said Mr. Beast, I don't know, it might not have generated that image correctly. So it went ahead and took it from this attire to a tuxedo like I asked for pretty flawlessly. So that is the benefit of using Google's AI Studio is editing one particular image. So that's a quick tutorial on how you can use ChatGPT's 4.0 image generation to face swap YouTube thumbnails. And if you've made it this far into the video, I truly appreciate you. If you found value, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Also leave me a comment below. What are some other use cases that you guys are using this 4.0 image generation on? I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments below. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.